वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर दीपक पवार फ्रॉम महात्मा फुले कॉलेज ऑफ एजुकेशन अकलूज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द जनरल इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सिलेबस ऑफ इंग्लिश मेथड फ्रॉम सेम थर्ड इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी फोकस ऑन हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स आर देयर इन दिस पेपर एंड विच प्रैक्टिकल्स वी हैव टू कंप्लीट in the current semester in the same method so student on your screen the marking distribution of this paper is given the maximum marks for this paper is 50 marks and in that 50 marks 10 marks for internal assessment and 40 marks for university assessment means the college will give 10 marks to you and university conducted the 40 marks examination let's turn towards the unit wise explanation of this paper in this paper we have four un units and each units have some subunits unit first is planning for learning and teaching subject of english in this first unit we have three subunits subunit a annual plan in this subunit we will learn the need of unit plan principles of unit plan why unit plan is significance for teacher and which are the various aspects of unit plan subunit b unit plan in this subunit we dis we will discuss the need of unit plan the various aspects of unit planning and why unit planning is important or it is significant it is significant for the teacher in subunit c lesson plan in this subunit we will prepare various types of lesson plan for example prose lesson plan poetry lesson plan composition lesson plan and grammar lesson plan our unit second is assessment of learning in subject English in this unit there are sub four subunits subunit A concept of evaluation subunit B construction of unit test and diagnostics test in this subunit there are various steps of construction of unit test the definition of unit test and why unit test is essential for a teacher and the last part of this subunit diagnostic test in this diagnostic test diagnostic test and remedial teacher these two concepts we will learn in subunit b in subunit c the concept of content methodology and in the same subunit we will analyze the English textbook of any standard. In subunit D, continuous and comprehensive evaluation in English means CCE in, CCE in English. This is the modern concept of uh, modern concept of evaluation. In this unit, we will cover the two workshop the workshop concept of evaluation is under the evaluation workshop and subunit c comes under the workshop of ccm these tools you subunit b and subunit c is important from the examination point of view for broad question the name of this unit suggests us how any teacher can evaluate any student from using various evaluation tools and how they affect the teaching and learning process of the student. Subunit D is a quite modern concept of evaluation. In CCE, we can evaluate any student in two ways, that is, formative evaluation and summative evaluation 
let's turn towards unit 3 in this unit there are four subunit the name of this unit is professional development of english teacher in subunit a quality of english teacher in this subunit we will discuss the basic qualification of english teacher and which qualities any english teacher have in his personality subunit b awareness of innovative practices and action research of english in this subunit we will discuss the which are the innovative practices any teacher can use in his profession and there is new concept action research of english in this concept teacher can conduct one action research in his day-to-day -day life subunit c role of english teacher in classroom and outside of the classroom classroom programs in this in this subunit which roles teacher play in the classroom and outside the classroom means a counselor a teacher a guide a philosopher which roles a teacher can use in his professional life we will focus on unit c subunit d english teachers organization in this subunit we will discuss the english teachers organization the concept need of such organization and which are the various organization in present day of teacher organization at state level and national level at present so student if you studied minutely unit third you understand the teacher of english language is the core of this unit means all the subunits are mingled in this unit which are the essential for a teacher of english language means which qualities of a english teacher which innovative practices uh, and which action research uh, any english teacher can conduct and which are the roles of english teachers in the classroom and outside the classroom and which are the english teachers association means the teacher is core elements in this unit let's turn towards our unit 4 the name of this unit is concept knowledge in subject of english this is the content knowledge of english language in subunit a vowels consonants diphthongs and cluster these are the sounds of english language and in the subunit a vowels how many vowels how many consonants diphthongs and clusters are there we will study in the subunit in subunit b pronunciation what is the concept of pronunciation which are the causes of barrier pronunciation of indian student and how we can improve the student pronunciation this concept we will study in this subunit b in subunit c stress and intonation the concept of stress rising stress falling stress and their examples and the concept of intonation rising intonation and falling intonation we will study it in this subunit c in figure in subunit d figure of speech in figure of this speech how many figures of speech in english language you have to learn concept of various figure of speech and give examples of this figure of speech subunit c stress in that concept you have to study the word stress syllable stress and sentence stress means all the subunit r cover the content knowledge of english language and if you know the all the subunits you can achieve 
दी मास्टरी ओवर दी सब यूनिट तो स्टूडेंट तो स्टूडेंट इन सेशनल वर्क देर आर थ्री ट्यूटोरियल्स द स्टूडेंट विल हैव टू राइट थ्री ट्यूटोरियल्स ब्रॉड क्वेश्चन इन नोटबुक एंड एसेस्ड बाय द टीचर एजुकेटर आउट ऑफ दिस थ्री प्रिपेयर ट्यूटोरियल क्वेश्चन वन शुड राइट इन एग्जाम सिचुएशन दैट इज फॉर फाइव मार्क्स एंड देर इज अनादर प्रैक्टिकल द स्टूडेंट मे अंडरटेक any one of the following activities in our college we will conduct one of these activities that is prepare our unit test or unit or diagnostic test and conduct that test in the classroom if you studied the syllabus thoroughly you can understand in sub unit sorry unit second sub unit c there is concept of evaluation and construction of unit test in that sub unit we can study how we can construct the unit test and diagnostic test and this practical we will cover in our workshop of evaluation in this way in today's lecture we can understand there are four main units and each unit have various sub units there is sectional work and in that sectional work there are three questions we have to assess from the teacher and one question we should write in exam situation and we can prepare a one unit test so students that's all for today thank you and have a nice day